Moving on with Friday the 13th, the Ultimate DVD Collection, with Part 5, A New Beginning. Which it wasn't, but to be perfectly honest and fair, that wasn't really their fault. It was the fan backlash that kept it from being a new beginning. We shouldn't hate this movie because the title is wrong. We should hate it because it's a piece of shit. But let's start at the beginning. Tommy is traumatized by the events of the last film. I think I may be too, but that's for time to tell. He's been shipped from various institutions to other various institutions, and he's now wound up at the one this takes place at. And he's hallucinating Jason. He meets some new people, and that's basically it. Then someone is killing, even though Jason is supposed to be dead, and we don't know exactly what's going on. Characters are introduced only to be killed off in the same scene, literally moments after we've even been told that they're there, you know, moments after we meet them, but it's kind of okay because everyone in this is obnoxious, pretty much with no exception, so we hate them and want them to die. The deaths are unbelievably uninspired. We usually don't even see the death itself, let alone do we get any creative death scenes, we usually just see the aftermath. And that's kind of it, you know, a knife in someone's flesh somewhere, and that's kind of it. Since the overall idea of this movie was not followed up on, nothing in this plot has any effect on anything at all. I mean, I'm not saying that the first four had brilliant plots that you know, made a huge difference or anything, but at least there was plot. There was something here, it just feels like they're padding out the movie because they can't really have someone die every second, even though with how cheaply they're going about killing them, they probably could budget-wise. The acting is atrocious. The dialogue is pitiful. There is one line that's actually funny. I won't give it away here. But I don't think it was really meant to be funny. One girl was actually cast specifically because she showed her breasts to the director. Yes, classy. The music is used a little less, and there's a slight change in it, which is cute enough. The filming and editing is piss poor. The first four were not good in this respect, but this is by far the worst thus far in the series. There are times where you can barely tell what's even supposed to be going on. Literally, the first two deaths it cuts so poorly that you can't tell which of the people die first. It also doesn't help that they look way too much alike. They're wearing the same color clothes. There aren't particularly any memorable characters in this one. We get more Tommy. Yes! Win for us! And of course more of those stupid fucking masks. And it still has no effect on anything. Tommy's a wrestler now, by the way, in case you thought that he hadn't changed at all for the better, but he's got some serious moves. I don't know where he picked those up. I mean, I get that he's maybe been in fights, you know, and the whole institution thing, but he's been trained. You know, he's, he's got that shit down. There is one character... It's not so much that he's interesting at all. It's just that it's fucking Michael Jackson right out of the Thriller video. I, 
I don't know, maybe it was to score some cheap points or something. The movie is just boring. Boring as all hell. It's not satisfying. It's not exciting. It's not funny. It's not gripping. There's just nothing to it. It's a link between two movies and the latter of the two movies never came into being. You can skip this one and absolutely nothing will be lost. Yeah, and that's absolutely what I re recommend. There's just nothing in this one that's worth your time other than a little bit of nudity, but frankly I hated the girls so damn much in this one that I could barely even enjoy that. That ought to give you an idea. So yes, that was my spoiler-free review of Friday the 13th, A New Beginning, which it wasn't. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.